Listen, you've been fighting for a long time, you know, fought all over the, the world, but uh, Fight Island, give, give me the, the, the idea, what's, what's the experience been like for you so far? Are you enjoying it? One wonderful adventure. <laughs> Did it live up to what you were, did you have any expectations of, of what you were getting into? The flight over here was the best part. No, it wasn't. It totally was, because it was business class for the first time. They gave me steak for breakfast. That was cool. Fantastic. I got to lay down. I'm super jet lagged and super off my schedule, and it's not the best, but I'm excited to do my job and then go home. How about the quarantine? Were you well suited for that, or did you find it difficult? It was a challenge. <laughs> Very nice. All right, talk about this matchup. You're uh, you know, a, a respectable opponent for sure, but one that's kind of new to the UFC. So when you when you got the name, did, did you know much about her? I was stoked. It's somebody new. I've had so many rematches in my career. I'm like, yes, a new person. So that's interesting because I wonder if it's tough for you to get like motivated. I mean, you fought like the best of, in the world, right? So I mean, it, when it's somebody new, is that exciting or do you have to get yourself fired up a little bit? I don't think I really thought about it until I fought Andrea Lee and then people kept asking me about rematches. So then it made me think like, oh, cool, yeah. So I am I never have a prob problem with motivation. You know, I, I always want to prove my, prove my skills, um, grow, and evolve. Yeah. At this point in your career, I mean, when you, when you break somebody down, I mean, is there anything unique? Like, is there anything that somebody brings to the table that you haven't seen before at this point in your career? Hmm. It's more like what I'm going to do with them and how I've evolved over the years and my new skills because I'm always evolving. I'm always, you know, getting better, um, adding new tools to my toolbox, refining, sharpening the axe. Right. You know, so I don't know what that hand motion was, but um, <laughs> <laughs> so just figure out how to how to beat her and um, well, my coach figured it out and I'm just gonna go do it. So right, it's gonna right. be great. You've had some big wins uh, over the past few years, of course. You've had a couple of setbacks as well. I mean, it's, it seems like win-loss, win-loss kind of alternate. So what do you think the key is to, to getting consistency? Is it something, you know, tactically? Is it mentally? Like, what do you think it's going to take? Attain the power! <laughs> Just keep getting better, you know. Um, I think I've improved a lot. I've, my wrestling's gotten better. My striking's gotten better. Uh, Coach John Wood has tweaked some of my balance footwork points. I just made that word up. But, um... <laughs> You know, I feel more balanced. Uh, I feel stronger. Thanks, um, Lorenzo Pavlica, my strength and conditioning coach. Um, Jiu-Jitsu, so all around, I've just been training forever, and um, I'm excited to show what I got. Awesome. Last thing for me, what, what are the goals for you at this point, right? I mean, is it, I mean, I, I know that you're a martial artist at heart, right? I mean, so is it, for you, is it about, you know, chasing a bell? Win. Chasing, just, just win? Just win. You know, if I get the title shot, great. You know, I know that's a very political thing, you know, um, based on stuff. So I'm just going to keep winning, keep smashing, and keep improving. Mm -hmm. Roxanne, hey, you talk about some striking techniques, but I want to know what exactly is the uh, Roxycopter? Mm. I think I have stopped using the Roxycopter ever since Emily ducked under my back fist and took me down. <laughs> Very disappointed in that. Good job, Emily Whitmire. Um, no, it's a... Punch to a spinning back fist to a, a body kick. Very cool. Yes, I've revealed my secret technique because it got foiled. Foiled. But you never know when it'll reappear. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. You had posted a weird question. You had posted a graphic that was like, choose your fighter. It was like a bunch of your cosplays. And mm -hmm. people got really into it in the comments section. Did you notice that one got, was, fans were uh, gravitated towards one specifically? Oh, I didn't. What was the comment? Uh, a lot of them liked the Monkey D. Luffy. Okay. Yes, a lot of people are making a play on words on my name and Monkey D. Luffy. Sure. That's cool. That was, uh, uh, my friend Justin made that, that collage. Have you moved into the new condo, right? I sort of have. So I signed it. It's mine. I moved some boxes in there, but I decided not to move everything just because it's stressful before my move. So uh, when I get home, I'm going to do the big move. Last time I spoke to you, you told me that your dad helps you with like investing and things like that. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to jump on the Bitcoin high? No, but I've heard various things about it. I still am confused about it. Is it like digital currency? Is it like a stock? Is it like ding, Mario, you get like a coin? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think it's all of those. Oh, cool. I'll ask him and see what he says. That should be an interesting answer.